Hi, I'm Mark Tool with 8020service.com. Today's customer service question is a good one and an important one. The question is, how has digitalization helped improve customer experience? This is the question. This, the implications of this are incredibly powerful, and it seems like it's something that most people are still missing. This has been going on for decades, and somehow people still don't make this connection and follow through with the logical consequences of it. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video here today. How has digitalization helped improve customer experience? Simple. It has separated customer experience from customer service. In the olden days, if you had a lemonade stand or a general store or something like that, the customer experience was not entirely, but largely based around customer service. How quickly does the seven-year-old pour your glass of lemonade? How quickly does old Jed behind the counter go get the bag of flour you ordered? How friendly is he when you walk into the store? That sort of thing. These things are important to customer experience. Now, obviously, how he arranges the store, uh, how it's lit, uh, if it's easy enough to find what the prices are, these things always mattered and they still do, but customer service was a key piece of customer experience in the past. Now, this is what digitalization, technology, computers, whatever you want to call it, the information age, has changed. Now, customer experience, largely, it happens through a device. It happens through a laptop, it happens through a phone, it happens through a web page or an app or something like that. It happens where I see some marketing somewhere, I like it, it appeals to me, I click a link, I go to a website, I buy a thing. The thing is delivered to me digitally, instantly, I log in, I have access to it, I use it, I benefit from it, presumably everything's good. My customer experience is great, my customer service is non-existent, because I've never spoken to customer service about anything, and for an ideal customer experience, I shouldn't have to. When I have to talk to customer service, this isn't saying that customer service is dead. I help businesses get customer service right. It absolutely isn't dead. It's absolutely just as important now, if not more important, than it was in the past. But the scope of it, the, the position it occupies in business, has very much changed. So for the majority of the customers should never have to speak to customer service. They should never have to talk. They shouldn't know any. They shouldn't know anything about customer service. They shouldn't know there is customer service. Maybe they see a link, contact us, and they ignore it because they don't need to contact anyone. That's fine. The role of customer service now, going forward, is not to complete simple transactions. Is not to answer simple, obvious questions over and over again. Hey, how late are you open tonight? No. This, this time has passed. Now, sure, if there's still a general store operating in Kansas somewhere, this is still the case, or a Best Buy or a Blockbuster or whatever other physical store you go into, there's more customer service still required in the customer experience. That's fine in the physical world. I'm talking about digital products, websites, physical products too. Amazon.com is a great example of that. But... This improves customer experience because most customers never have to talk to customer service. It also improves customer service experience because when you do have a problem, assuming something comes up, it's a real problem. It's the website's not working, the app's down, something like that, a loud ass garbage truck's driving by when you're trying to record a video, bad example. But these are some of the, the situations where you may need to talk to customer service. And it's, it's going to be, or at least it should be, a much better experience than... All right, wait for the fucking garbage truck. It's going to be a better experience than what you would have had in the past because of this separation. Because the customer service people are not completing transactions. They're not answering the same question 400 times a day. They're not slammed, busy, oh, hold on a second, let me put you on hold, hold on a second, let me put you on hold. Instead, they're sitting there, prepared, ready to handle issues, questions, problems, when and if they come up, but they're not completely busy, completely slammed, so when you have a question, when you have a problem, there's someone there who has the time and the patience and the energy left in their brain to answer it. It also, this eliminates the need for the, the complex systems and scripts and procedures guides and NPCs and automated phone systems and all this nonsense too. You can just simply send a simple email, hey, this is the problem I'm having. Somebody replies, somebody gets back to you, we fixed this, this is what you need to do, you're all set. It's a better experience that way too. At least it should be. The point I'm making with this video 
what I hinted at, at the beginning of this thing when I started talking about this today is that many people, many businesses don't seem to realize this yet. They don't realize that digitalization, computers, technology, whatever you want to call it, has changed business. It has separated customer experience from customer service. They still think, let's have a good customer experience. They think that means tweaking the processes of their customer service department. Their customer service department is busy because it's handling customer experience things that should be digitalized and therefore when you actually have a problem that you need customer service for you get put through the whole complex nonsense process that we're all familiar with pressing 47 for English things beeping in your ear sending an email getting a reply four days later saying we can't reply to emails please call us thanks fidelity calling you out on that one again um, these are the things that these businesses still do they don't realize this change and they don't realize the implications of it. They think that customer service is the key driver of customer experience and it's not. It's the airbag, it's the lifesaver, it's the thing that's there to salvage it when things go wrong. The majority of customers in a good situation, in a properly running default, optimal path, whatever you want to call it, they don't talk to customer service, they don't need to, and that's good. They shouldn't have to. Customer service should not be a big, bloated, complicated thing with hundreds of employees. It should not be a thing that most customers know anything about because they shouldn't have to talk to it. And it should not be complicated. It does. It should be simple, and it can be. And that's why I do these videos. That's why I help businesses with this stuff. That's why I picked this question here today because it's so important and because so many people are still missing it. So that's my answer. Digitalization has essentially separated customer experience from customer service. There is some overlap in some cases, more or less depending on the type of the business, but they are increasingly becoming separate things and I see that as a good thing. So that's all for today. I'm going to wrap this video up here. Uh, like I hinted at here before, I do one of these videos every weekday on a customer service question or topic. I get these things from Quora. So if you have a question, you can ask me on Quora. You can ask me on YouTube. I'm posting these there as well. So that's where you're watching it. Ask me in the comments. I may answer it in a future video. I write regularly on business and customer service topics and questions as well, both in response to questions on Quora and on my website, which is 8020service.com, like the 8020 principle, because it really is all about keeping this stuff simple. And there's a daily email that list there as well that you can get on 8020service.com to sign up for that. Otherwise, like, thumbs up, subscribe follow, all that good stuff. I'll be back Monday with another video.